Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, the other day I was watching my friend Jose J.G. Gonzalez on his new channel, Jose J.G. Boom, and he managed to score quite a coup. He got prominent flat earther Nathan Oakley to come out of his echo chamber and away from his mute button and volume control and debate him on a neutral channel. So they went over to our friend Anthony Riley's channel, Sleeping Warrior. So even though Sleeping Warrior is a flat earther, he does a pretty decent job hosting debates. So I was really looking forward to seeing this. So let's go through this debate and see the techniques that Nathan Oakley employs as a master of science denial. So cue up the music and we'll get started. Now there are four main characters involved in this debate. We have Jose, who is debating the globe earth side. We have Nathan Oakley, who is debating the flat earth side. And assisting Nathan Oakley, we have the 10th man, who is there to poison the well and try and head off this argument on a preliminary basis. Then Nathan comes in, and when Nathan runs into trouble, his friend Quantum Eraser comes in and tries to disrupt the debate. So let's have a listen. What's so important? Oh, no, I just got to do this before 9 in the morning for me. It's 8.33, and this is got to be over by 9 before Nathan go live. That's it. That's all. Yeah, it must be important. I've never seen you come on early. Oh, no, yeah, I did. Because I've been challenging Nathan for the past week, at least in chats, and he's been ignoring me until yesterday. Nathan agreed to take the challenge on Sleeping Water Channel. Nathan agreed to take the challenge to debate me in three points. And it's a visual debate. So he said, I win. Yesterday he said, I said, how are you going to win? If it's a visual thing, the three points are... Do you want to wait till he gets here? Or I don't know. I'm just explaining coffee. to you. He knows, but I'll explain him. I'll explain it to you. Just explain it to you. Three points are a visual of Earth, an illustration, a model, of how do, does Earth look as a whole. That's number one. So that's a visual. How he can win a typing when that's a visual. That's number one. If, if Nathan decides to, he doesn't have to show it, it's, on, it's up him. That would be point for me because I will present how Earth looks, right? Number two, calculator with predictive capability. I can pull a calculator online and I can put a observer high, a distance, and that will give me a prediction. That's all I want. And then number three, footage or pictures that evidence the shape of Earth. I my my the key was taken by yourself, but I don't think Nathan have done any observations. So he has to choose somebody that he trusts 100% of everything they say 100% of the time. So if he trusts that one person 100%, he can present their footage or pictures. If not, if he doesn't have that, then he will not have the point. That's it. There's those three points. It's either you called present you called that you called that important enough to come and do a challenge? Yes, I call it important because. Nathan keep dancing and, and sliding out. No, no but, 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 but uh, hang on, hang on, hang yeah, on, yeah, hang yeah. on. Just, uh, no, what I'm trying to say is what you're asking for is all opinion and hearsay. There's nothing about what you're asking. It can be proven. Of course, then, man. Uh, yeah, just just take a take a seat back and let the adults no, no, talk. Uh, so let's start off with Jose's challenge. Number one, a picture of the whole earth. Now, the whole earth means the Earth. You want to be able to see either the globe or you want to see a flat Earth. Now, Jose is going to present pictures of the globe, probably from space. He wants Nathan to respond in kind to provide photographic evidence from a distance of the flat Earth. Now, notice that he very clearly said the whole Earth and not all the surface of the Earth. There's a difference. That'll come in later. Second, he can point to the curve calculator, which is based on the globe Earth model and has predictive value as to, given an observer height and a distance to an object, how much of that object we can see. And third, is there any photographic evidence of curvature? And he plans on presenting some of that. Now, 10th man's immediate response is to call this all opinion. 
because the photos are up to interpretation. Is this actual evidence? Let's see how far he takes the concept of evidence versus opinion. Well, if you if you just get, you're silly at this point because you're <laughs> you're saying you're going to produce a picture, but then when we ask where'd you get the picture from, you're going to say it doesn't matter. It doesn't I matter, bro. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a silly argument. That's hey, like that's in a that's, court your, that's you. That's your point. So if it was you, you already <laughs> lost the point because you wouldn't been able to present it, right? I guess you would so say like I don't go, have to present issue. So you're gonna go you're gonna go into a court of law, make up a story, and the judge says where'd you get it from? You say it doesn't matter. I There's no court of law. It's just me. Trump is playing the victim. Now, the judge would say, where's your evidence for your picture? You say, I don't need one. I just need to produce one. Uh, that's, that's not part of the, of the debate. I brought, the, the I argument, brought Your okay, argument then, dies. Your argument dies right away. Yeah. Okay. So I it, brought the three points silly. to the table. I you brought nothing made that to request. the table. You hey. didn't even bring the table. So, so are we going to do this next Sorry, time? Are you going to be man enough to step in thing? or are you going to let that man make, just bring Verbal diarrhea and obfuscate the points. So here we go. Without even seeing the evidence, Tenth Man has already dismissed it because it wouldn't be evidence in a court of law in his opinion. Well, let's see. Satellite photos of the Earth have good providence to them. We know what satellite took them. We know when the satellite was launched. We can observe the satellite with telescopes. We have warrant to believe that the satellite photographs are valid because there's plenty of providence and backing behind it. So this argument that, you know, we're just going to produce these photographs and they're of unknown origin and unknown providence is just absolutely nonsense. Second, he's trying to play jailhouse lawyer here and say that, well, this wouldn't meet the evidentiary requirements of the court. Well, it doesn't have to meet the evidentiary requirements of the court. We just have to have good warrant to believe it. And by good warrant, I mean good reason to believe them. And we do. But now Nathan's going to come in and get started. So let's watch the master in action. I'm here now. You've got my, you've got my attention. Right. I'll stop what I'm doing. Three points. It could take a minute. It could take up to a minute. Three points. Uh, illustration of Earth as a whole. I want to see it, Earth. Number two, a calculator with predictive capability that I can pull off the internet. I can put an observer high and a distance, and it will give me what's going to be hidden from the bottom up. And number three, observations, evidence in the shape of Earth that you have done your yourself because you haven't done any observations like that you can choose one person that you trust 100 percent their work if you trust that person 100 percent whatever they done you can present their evidence those three points that's all i need are you able to present in any of those three or not okay so jose has laid out his three points in a clear and succinct manner and he's asked nathan if he's prepared to answer those questions now there's a couple of key points that i want to make on this first of all again he said an image of the whole earth. Second, he said a predictive calculator that allows us to make predictions based on our observer height and distance to an object as to how much of an object is going to be visible. This is based on the globe earth model for the curve calculator. He wants Nathan to present a flat earth version that gives the exact same answers that match reality. And third, Jose is going to present photographic evidence of curvature, and he wants Nathan to respond. What do you think Nathan's response is going to be? Is he going to address the questions in a forthright manner, or is he going to waffle? In reality, what Nathan does is he uses a debate tactic to put Jose off his game. He asks Jose to repeat the entire thing again because he wasn't paying any attention. Now this is designed to not only fluster Jose and disrupt his thought process because he has to now repeat everything that he just said. It's also designed to show how little Nathan respects Jose to the point that he can't even be bothered to pay attention to the questions. So let's go ahead and have a listen. Sorry, let's go through that a bit slower. Yeah, so, uh, evi a picture of Earth, uh, evidence of Earth uh, as a whole, visual, a visual representation. I can present my screen, I can show it to you. All right, I'm going to present the points and you tell me if you can present it or not. If I can present a picture of all of Earth. So you see, Nathan disrupted Jose's chain of thought by making him repeat his questions again, hoping that he would make a mistake. Jose did not make a mistake. The second time, he also said a picture of the whole Earth. So when Nathan reads it back, what he says is, so a picture of all of the earth, not the whole earth, 
all of the earth. That will become important here in a moment. Let's continue. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm, and I'm not asking that you took the picture. I'm asking if you can present it. Yeah, I can present you Google Earth. That's number one. That's not a picture. It's a, it's a graphic as for Earth. There you go. That's Earth. This is a representation of Earth. I got a couple of websites I can go. All right, that's number one. I can show you a few more. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. But you want me to present you with a picture of Earth? That's that's what you're you're. I don't. I, you're presenting me stuff for me. I don't, I don't really understand what's going on here. So let's just slow down. Wait. Your your question to me is: Can I present a picture of all of Earth? And then you're showing that you can. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Can you? Okay. Let's see what you've got. Show me what you've got. Okay. I got. Uh, that's not it. Yeah. I got it right here. Let me put this one. Uh, I'll show you this one. This this right here. I got six pictures of Earth. Which one do you want me to click? Any. Just pick one. I don't right. care. Let's do it. All of Earth, right? Yep. Earth as a whole. Yep. Now, do you see what Nathan did there? You see how he slipped in all of Earth again? Now, obviously, we're looking at six satellite photographs of the Earth here. Now, how is Nathan going to counter this? He's going to play word games. He said all of the Earth. Listen to how he develops that. A point to England, please. I don't know. I don't know uh, all the places in there, but let me, let me choose another one. Maybe it's in... Uh... Slow down, Jose. Uh. Jose, do you want to go back to your picture that you just put up? Okay, stay with this one. Okay. Don't care which one. Cool, cool. You seem to be jumping around a lot. Yeah. Slow down. So can you point to England? You got to help me out here. I don't know where all the parts in the world is. Is someone around here? You see, here's the problem, Jose. Nathan knows what the Earth looks like, and he recognizes in this view of the Earth that England is not present. Now, Nathan is a trained actor playing a role. He knows full well that England is on the far side of that image. And that's the way a debate goes. You don't have to be right to win a debate. And he's winning this point for two reasons. One, you didn't call him on that. And two, even though this debate was concerning images of Earth from space, you aren't familiar enough with the surface features of the Earth to be able to pick out where England is. That's inexcusable, Jose. You should have come better prepared. I don't know. You tell me, you said all of it was on this picture. This is all of it, right? Oh, Earth, Earth as a whole. Yeah, no, it's not all of it because it's a sphere and there's many continents and parts in behind the sphere. Stop. Stop. Yeah. So you've challenged me to present a picture of all of it. Yeah. And claimed you can present a picture of all of it. Earth as a whole. But this whole, is. Yeah. But Jose, you seem to be talking through me a lot. I, I leave pauses. No, but for I don't want to let you misrepresent me. I say Earth as a whole. Yeah, I, as a whole. I haven't got a chance to even speak. You're yeah. talking through me, aren't you, Jose? Earth as a whole. Yes. Go ahead. Do you want to shut up while I try again, or not? Well, you have to admit that's an interesting argument. The reason that he put all of Earth in is that he knows full well you can't see the far side of the Earth in one view. But this is one shot, and he wants to see all of the Earth in one shot. He knows that that's not possible. Now, Jose clearly said the whole earth, and he's making that point again now. Now, in order for Nathan's argument to be valid, there would have to be earth that is not in that picture. That is a picture of the sphere of the earth. There's no part of earth that's not in that picture. You can't see the far side, but it's not like there's another part of earth somewhere else, out by the moon, perhaps. That's the whole Earth right there. That should end the discussion alone, but Jose doesn't really hammer him down on it, and Nathan senses a weakness and continues to push it. Your first challenge was to present a picture of all of Earth to me, and then you very quickly went to your justification that you could present a picture of all of Earth. Now, you've just presented a picture. I've asked you to point at a specific location, and you've made it clear it's not on this one. And then you've made it clear that it's not all of it. So I'm a bit confused as to the point of your question when you're challenging me to f give you a picture of all of Earth based on you being able to give a picture of all of Earth, but you can't. In fact, in your reification of a sphere model, it would be physically impossible for you to present a single picture of all of Earth. Now, you see what Nathan is doing is another debate technique right now. He's trying to put Jose on the defensive. Jose did not say all of Earth. He said the whole Earth. 
and he corrected Nathan several times. But now Nathan is saying with authority, all of earth, as if that's what Jose said. And then he's also pointing out the fact that he knows that on a globe with a single view like this, you wouldn't be able to see the far side. So what he's trying to do is characteristic number five of the science deniers, and that is unrealistic expectations of science. I can't see the back of my head, but trust me, I know it's there. At least every time I bump it, I know it's there. I don't need to physically see it to realize that there's another half to that globe, and that happens to be where England is. So what Nathan is doing is asking an impossible question and then capitalizing on the fact that it can't be answered. But wait, there's more. I didn't say all of Earth, I say Earth as a whole. This is Earth as a whole, as a sphere, right? And the parts of Earth that you don't see in the picture are behind this, for this face that you see, because it's a sphere and the other continents and parts of the world are behind it. Are you able to present a picture of Earth, yes or no? Because we can move on to the next step, the, to the next point. Sorry. What, move move on. No, no, no. Let, let's just be clear here. You didn't present a picture of the whole. It wasn't on the picture. Earth as a whole. <laughs> and now, based on that impossible question, Nathan is declaring victory. Jose is, to his credit, saying, well, I presented my picture. Where is yours? If you don't have one, okay, we'll move on to the next point. Nathan wants to declare victory, but they're going to move on to the next point. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Make sure you take a moment, stop by and sign up to Jose's new channel. Unfortunately, somebody hacked into his account and took over his channel briefly and got the channel taken down. Now he's got to rebuild. Why don't you go ahead and give him a hand? And while you're at it, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Remember, thank you very much to my Patreons and supporters for all the new equipment that we've gotten for the channel and will continue to build this year. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.